Okay, welcome to Sea Sons at Home. Okay, so this week's starter, we've gone fairly Scandinavian with the whole menu, sort of European Scandinavian, I guess. So we've got some dumplings and some garlic butter in there. These dumplings are stuffed with like a lamb sort of filling, a lamb filling. Then we've got some creamed cabbage, cabbage cooked in cream, some pickled plums, and some dill. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my cabbage hot. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is get some water boiling for the dumplings in a minute. There's a knob of butter in, the, uh, in with the dumplings. I'll take that out for now. Cabbage is coming pretty quick. I'm just gonna take my dumplings, get them straight into the water. They're gonna cook a bit like gnocchi. So as soon as they start floating, they're pretty much ready. So in they go. Okay, so there'll be a few minutes. The cabbage is sizzling. We're gonna take that off now and get a frying pan warming so that we can fry our, fry our dumplings when they are ready. So these are based on like a Swedish dish called crop kakor. I've done them once before with mushrooms. This time we're stuffing them with lamb mints. Okay, so they're just starting to sort of float a bit now. So into my warm pan, I'm gonna drop my butter. There you go. Okay, so some garlic and some parsley in with the butter. Should just be pretty tasty. And that's coming up. So we want this butter to, to almost turn a little bit brown. But I'm happy these guys are pretty much floating now, so I'm gonna pop them up, get that moisture off, and straight into the butter. And all we're going to do is just get a little bit of colour on both sides. They're all cooked, all hot, so won't be long. Might give them a little bit of salt. Okay, whilst those are there then, I'll start plating. So our cabbage should still be hot enough, I think. We're going to do that. Just go in the middle. Take our plums. Should just hopefully a bite through some of the fat and starch in there. And a drizzle of that pickle juice. Maybe it might look better in a bowl, but we'll see. 